Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Finding Vines Gap with around win 36. No problem. No problem. We starting with the nail, nuns have it, mom's knife, win 37. We should shave we should shave uh, as well, but we should say. R-A-K-Z B89 N. Mom's knife, the nail, and nuns have it. This is a, a fairly exceptional payoff from Eden's Blessing. Like, it's a great start to begin with, but the fact that we got Eden's Blessing on the last run uh, makes this that much more ridiculous. This is... I mean, it's not the most overpowered start I've had this week. There's no doubt about it that Mega Start probably has it beaten, but I'm not sure it has it beaten by a whole hell of a lot, honestly. I mean, if you're looking at this, we've got an incredibly high damage item, and then we have a space bar item that gives us a damage bonus, but of course more uh, importantly also gives us a, uh, a, a spirit heart once every six rooms. And then beyond that, we also have the ability to recharge it kind of actively. Like for example, if we can get a uh, blood bank on the next floor, we should be pretty much 100% set uh, in order to get ourselves to the point where we have enough HP to survive for a while. At this point, without being cocky, I'm just setting expectations here. That sounds like something that someone was very cocky would say. But, um, I'm just setting expectations here. Unless we get a full run reroll, I'm pretty sure that we're in an amazing position. I mean, the run is so good that getting Crystal Ball is a negative. It did give us two of Diamonds, which is fantastic, but it's a negative nonetheless. Could have had any other passive in there. Ah, this is good. We'll take our... Spirit heart and move onwards here. What are we gonna do with two of diamonds? I figure we just sit on it. If we get an arcade next floor, we're gonna prefer having uh, two of diamonds still active so we can use it for ourselves. Like this is, we shouldn't be this powerful until the next floor. And I'm being a little bit tongue in cheek when I say that, but you know, mom's knife usually does not show up this early unless you get the world's luckiest item room. So honestly, I have to be honest. And if I'm being honest with you, if I'm being 100% truthful with you, if we're honestly discussing things in a frank and not misleading fashion, I'm being 100% sincere when I say this, I'm just fucking with you and trying to annoy you now, and I apologize for it. Honestly. But, um, I actually forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I, I, I talked myself into oblivion there. I didn't think it was possible. Uh, Gimpy's really good. I think what I was getting at is, um... The, the game has been way too kind to me lately. Like, we have been pretty much ridiculously set up uh, on the past few runs. There have been, like, on the Hush fight on the last one, we kind of came close to death. But apart from that, uh, it's been a very, very easy time. And you have to acknowledge, you know, you take the good times when they come with the knowledge that they won't last forever. You know, there will probably come a point where we have runs again that test us. And it, it may not be on this run. It may be on this run. Um... But, uh, they will come eventually. So, of course, there is, a, a library, it seems. And we should probably make an effort to go in there. I just want to see if there's an arcade, because that gives us, uh, a, a different way to approach the situation here. Got 15 cents already. We know one of these is going to be a shop. The other one is, I think it has to be an arcade, or it might just have, like, a key beggar or something. Um, but let's, let's handle all the riffraff first. Hoping for small rock, but... Next best case scenario is probably that. 16 cents. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I want to buy anything in there. I think we'd rather save our money and just move on. Especially if we can get even more money for two of diamonds later. So this is obviously like a terrible item to have in here. But at least uh, we basically spent one key to get one and a half spirit hearts. One and a half because we were already at a half charge. Um, put a bomb down. Just trying to find secret rooms. I figured it basically had to be there or here. And at this point, we're looking for more money. And that'll do. Uh, that allows us to basically have 82 cents. Is there anything at all in here that I want? It doesn't really seem like it. We get the spirit heart, but it's, it's pretty unnecessary. So we are almost as powerful as we were like two runs ago when I was like... Or maybe it was last run when I was like, this is one of the most powerful runs I've ever had. We're already almost there. Synth oil helps out a ton. And of course we'll take Guppy's Paw. Just to have it. Uh, and... Axe that. There we go. Head down to the next floor. I mean, there's really nothing I can say about this. We've got Mom's Knife, some damage upgrades. Gimpy, a great spacebar item. Basically 82 cents in the ability to take advantage of it. So... I, I'm gonna do my best to go the the full country mile on this one, you know, boss rush and hush, unless things go like catastrophically wrong. But uh, 
this this is ridiculous right now. And it's one of those runs that, you know, it makes you feel like you can't do any wrong. So yeah, we'll take that pill. Luck down. That's a classic. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I got a little ahead of myself saying we can't do any wrong. That pill turned out to be bad. And we are down in the key economy as well. But down in the key economy. That's if, if Credence had lasted long enough to totally sell out. That was going to be their next big jam. Because you know these Isaac jingles are just so commercially viable. It's like better to sell out than to fade away, man. Well, um, obviously that was poor damage there, but we're going to take damage regardless going into this room and grabbing an Algiz rune. We miss out on 13 cents opportunity cost-wise as a result of that, but the Algiz rune is super valuable. Um, either we can use that to make boss rush slightly easier if it lasts that long. We can use it to play a blood bank, although we might want to use our HP to play the blood bank so that we actually take damage and get nail charges. Um, certainly one possibility is that we could use this for a hush fight, but it's just like a little too early. It's like me and Mr. Right when you're looking for Mr. Right the heck now, you know? Timing is important. It's actually like meeting the man of your dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. Isn't it ironic? Uh, we'll obviously check out item room first. Oh my god. Magic mush. Looks like those checks I've been sending to Edmund and Tyrone have come through. The last few runs uh, almost look like suspiciously good, but let's not count our chickens before they hatch. In fact, it even looks like there is a uh, ooh, potential second secret room here, but secret room between the shop and the... Well, no, there's definitely not. <laughs> My mistake. I was hoping there'd be a secret room there so we wouldn't have to spend a key. Ah, secret room here, though. This guy is too large. Why a nickel for every time I said that, right, ladies? <laughs> I don't know what that is supposed to mean. All right, throw a bomb down here. Uh, we already have... Uh, magic mush, but I wouldn't mind mini mush, and of course I'm real stoked to have three flies as well, but I guess we'll take Liberty Cap. And we're still holding Algiz for a future concern, I suppose. Six minutes and a half, and we're gonna get another deal with the devil item, and possibly another deal with the devil. No. I wished for it, but it did not come true. Uh, but we're fully, like, I don't know, at least four minutes ahead of schedule, maybe more depending on your perspective. Um, from my perspective, the Jedi are evil, and I've been looking for somebody to talk to about that. I mean, I did see Darth Maul, you know, ride up on a speeder bike looking like a badass, and I thought, man, that's the image I want. How can I get my spikes cut like that? I see a double key room, and it frightens me, but it also interests me. Much like Xenia on a top in 1995's film James Bond, Goldeneye. You, you remember that classic 1995 film? James Bond. Uh, well, we're at 99 cents. Uh, I guess we could bomb our way in there if we could just find a bomb. There we go, and no bomb. Unfortunately, I thought I was being really clever there. Um, but it excites me because it seems like there's a chance that, that could be a double uh, key room that leads to a dice room, and if it's a one or a six, I'd actually be happy because it adds a little bit more tension into this run and gives me the opportunity to prove myself beyond just like... We did it, you know, we we escorted mom's knife to the final boss and won the game, right? This is one of the rare circumstances in which I'm I'm innocent in the mom's knife pickup here. I had no choice in the matter. Uh, it wasn't even Eden's Blessing. Eden's Blessing, I think, gave us the nail. Or, it, no, it gave us the nun's habit. If that's the way that it even gets sorted here, is the way it looks in the item tracker. Um, I guess the, the active items don't show up in the item tracker for whatever reason. Inside of our shop, still nothing like super important here, but let's at least peep these. Maybe we'll be interested. We're not, but maybe we would have been. And then, wow, just a high quality selection of items available to us there. One of the farting beans, my least favorite Beatles knockoff band. Ooh, this could be good though. Still no bombs. Luckily, it doesn't matter that much. Wheel of Fortune... Well, actually, it matters more than I'd like to admit. Because I cannot open that stone chest. What a bummer. Well, hopefully uh, there's an arcade and maybe we can fill in the, the dearth of consumables. Now, that's just rubbing it in to give me three bombs dropped. I've also got to go because I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, 
I can make the as drop. Had to stop though, at a red light, looking in my mirror. Not a jacker in sight. How great would it be? How much better would the world be, I should say, if instead of carjackers, meaning someone who comes over to you and goes, you go, get out of the car, you know, and they steal your car. And if instead of that being a potential epidemic, it was just people who like go up to the side of your car and are like, you know, jerking it. They're just jerking their gherkins, jerking off, masturbating while masticating in some situations. I mean, it would, I'm not saying it wouldn't be traumatic. You'd still be like, you know, hey, what are you doing? Stop jerking off next to my car. But then, you know, once the light turned green, you just drive away and be like, well, that could have been worse, I guess. Let's head down. In fact, it gives me a great idea for a fundraiser. Carjacking, uh, carjackers against carjacking. All we do, we all get into our cars, we drive down to the busiest street, and we just start jerking it. We make sure it's not an all-ages event. We make sure everybody's of the, you know, and the legal age that's appropriate. And we all just start jacking it. And then when people say, what are you jacking it for? We say, first off, I reject your con your conception here that I need, a no I need a reason to jack it. Maybe I'm just jacking it to reward myself for a, you know, a day well spent. But in this case, we do have a purpose. Thank you for asking. We're jacking it to uh, say that we're not for stealing cars. All those carjackers are giving us jackers a bad name. This joke is going nowhere. That's okay, though. They, they can't all be winners. Well, we're going to go, like, pretty hard on this one. Or not, because we're already done, but that's okay. We got Demon Baby. And more money than we really know what to do with. And we're already on the depths one. So I'm a little skeptical that we're going to get to do much with our money at this point. And is that unfortunate? I, I guess maybe. It's not like, you know, it's a big deal. We're still balling out of control on this run to the point where I can just take incredibly stupid damage and not feel bad about it in the least. I will absolutely give ourselves a cube of meat. Doesn't bother me in the least. I like having uh, one extra orbital to help us out. Full health versus Algiz. Algiz is better um, in, in our unique situation. Well, that was a great series of red chests here. Uh, but there's a, there's cases where full health is better, but Algiz is just so good for uh, For the hush fight if we choose to do that that I Think it's it's a valuable take. I would feel real bad by the way This is probably like how the most likely way that the streak will end if it ends in this video is definitely uh, If not a full run reroll that just sucks it's it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me going down to the hush fight with like six HP and being like, yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. Oh, we're dead. Hopefully, uh, don't have to worry about that. Ooh, the curved horn, baby. I love your way. Thank you very much for giving me the best trinket in the game. Uh, I mean, we should pick these up for the potentiality of luck upgrades. And even if we, you know, bung. Oh, I was just gonna say, even if we bungle it a little bit. Who cares? You know, we got basically full HP. The ability to get full HP, at least. That's possibly a secret room. Kind of want to save bombs for Tinted Rocks. I mean, we still don't have Small Rock. Wow. Okay, this is just... This is just bad damage. Let's be real. Can't take... Uh, or I have to take responsibility for that. Ball of bandages and a guppy item and dark bomb and... A temptation to take Kimby in Conception, but I'm going to stay away from it because I know that on the next floor I'm going to be doing the uh, boss rush. Unless we get, like, some kind of ideal teleport. And it'll have to be ideal because I think it's important for us to keep this Algiz rune. So, um, I, I think that in our present situation, we're just going to ignore it. Um, but we are one guppy item away from becoming guppy, which is important here. And that's good enough. One thing I will say is... I think this has been the easiest day I've ever had recording Isaac. This is the fifth Isaac I have recorded today, I think. And every single one has been not just overpowered, but fairly ridiculously overpowered. So if you'll pardon my French, uh, I'm happier than a pig in Les Transants, you know? I'm extremely pleased that uh, the game has saw fit. There's Guppy, by the way. So that's also the ability to fly. Um, that the game has has saw fit, or has seen fit, I suppose, to uh, bless me with what is effectively just like the easiest day of Isaac recording of all time. And I recognize 
You know, it, it, it's probably frustrating as a viewer. You're watching this and you're like, come on, game. Get some life in you. You're supposed to be kicking his ass and you're just letting him uh, make it look like it's easy. Well, you know, sometimes I guess you just, you get lucky. Sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes the bar eats you, right? Right now, we are eating the bar. And there's basically no good reason not to go to boss rush at this point. Especially considering we have the nail. Um, especially considering all the damage we're doing. There's no good reason not to explore this whole floor, for that matter. We also just got Cricket's head, which is ridiculous. I took so much damage on this room, I just do not care. We don't have to worry about our economy at all. And maybe this is part of the game's nefarious plan. It's tried beating me with, you know, semi-difficult runs. Maybe now, it's gun him for this, like, let's give him six or seven, like, really easy ones in a row, and then fuck him with a super difficult one that he's not, you know, prepared for. I'll admit, you know, this could happen. And if that's the game's plan, then it is my better. You know, this, I'm I'm dealing with some high caliber bullshit here, and I don't know if I if I can sustain you know antagonism like that. However, for right now, let's Occam's Razor this. That's right, more shaving talk. Um, we'll Occam's Razor this and just say RNG's working out fantastically for us. Enjoy it while it lasts. It probably will not last forever, but for now, it's really good. In fact, I think I'm gonna post up and take Shoop to Whoop. You're, you're kidding me. You're not gonna let me donate? You're gonna give me two quarters and not let me donate or buy anything from the shop? Well, I suppose I should have bought one spirit heart way back when. It's not like there was a huge opportunity cost associated with the way we played this. Just never really had shops that did anything for us. So, uh, this runs bullshit. It was fucked from the get-go. We never had any shops. I don't know why the game wants to be so rude to us, but I suppose, you know, that's its prerogative. Uh, I'm basically keeping laser shoop the whoop for that exact situation right there. I figure uh, it's got like infinite range, so we can toast enemies pretty easily. This kind of sucks, but I'm not gonna take Judas's shadow um, because I, I really doubt we're going to get to use Judas's shadow. And we we've had that exact situation recently, but. I just don't think the odds of us being able to get anything out of it are, are high enough to warrant, you know, its inclusion on this run. And this was more along the lines of why I decided to take uh, Shoop to Whoop. Like, we are obviously crushing these enemies very easily. Our range with Mom's Knife is pretty good, but infinite range is better. Pretty stoked at the fact that it kills every enemy in a single hit as well. I think that's a nice bonus that we haven't talked about that much. Well, man, this is, uh, like the first wave that has lasted longer than 10 seconds. Or, you know, 2 seconds, even. Now, what would I like to see from the, uh, final item here? I would be thrilled if you would provide for me the wafer. Although, even then, we don't need that. You know what? Fuck it. Give me something weird. Give me, like, chaos or... I don't even know. I'm trying to think of what works well with Mom's knife. Give me hive mind? I don't even think you can, but... Speaking of which, that would have been a shop item of, of some usefulness. Just as long as we're t talking about, you know, our Christmas lists here. Hive mind would have been pretty dope. So we're going to be... Basically done with this floor and with boss rush at like 17 minutes. That's pretty silly. It's not the silliest. We have had runs that have been like 18 minutes long today, but this one is definitely on the more ridiculous side. And we're done with it already. We got pills for not like no good reason whatsoever. Thank you for not being telepills and screwing me, but apart from that, a little bit of a bummer. That's okay. 17 minutes. Cannot complain. Pretty much every single item has been a banger, except for, you know, the spacebar items we didn't really want to take. And we already were so stacked on those that we're, you know, not going to complain. Uh, can't play that. That's okay. Oh, absolutely, we want to check this. And at this point, I think I'm actually happier to have uh, bosses than I am to have not bosses, because at least bosses have, like, one hitbox. You hit it, and you're doing damage to them. Uh, all at the same time, for most bosses at least. Um, for enemies, you know, it's a crapshoot. We got multiple enemies, some of them could easily hit us, as happened right there. It's not like they're they're 
hard, but they're harder. Because, or at least there's more of a chance to get hit, I should say. But either way, we, let's be honest. Basically, from the moment we spawned in here, we knew uh, our odds of winning this run, pretty damn good. And by pretty damn good, I mean like literally 100%. And by literally 100%, I mean, okay, technically not literally 100%, but functionally 100%. You're literally being kind of a bitch right now with the way that you're criticizing my use of literally when we both understand the construct of the word and how it's used colloquially in the modern day setting. You know, I understand that you're a stickler for whatever reason for traditionalism, despite, I mean, the fact that it doesn't have any relevance on modern society. If using the biggest problem with modern society is the fact that people misuse literally when they really mean to say figuratively or functionally or effectively, etc., etc., you should, you know, go take a look around the world. I mean, I'm not trying to say that there's any excuse to just make a mistake for no reason like that, but, you know, when I was younger, I used to say, I could care less, and then I got corrected by people, and they'd say, what you mean to say is I couldn't care less. And I'm like, well, if you knew what I meant to say, then you knew what I meant, didn't you? And uh, as, uh, I think you meant to say, uh, goodbye, good sir, and then I'll never see you ever again because of your uh, grammar fascism is throwing a little stick into our relationship unless you were trying to banter and it was just an ill-advised thing that I didn't pick up on. I mean, it can happen from time to time. Anyway, I'm ranting. Let's move along here. We've already finished the womb one. You know what? I've decided I don't really want to mess around with rooms that don't bring me any happiness. So uh, we will not be touching that room with a 10-foot pole. We're also leaving behind like every consumable just because... Can you blame me? I don't think you can blame me too much at least. Are trying to get, uh, you know, a cricket's head or something like that. But I'm just thinking, wait a minute, we already have cricket's head. What am I looking for then? Bob's rotten head? Bob's brain? We already had Guppy's head. I guess Steven would be good. Goathead. Goathead would at least give us a guaranteed deal with the devil, but we might get one anyway. Okay, this room kind of sucks. Not that bad. Well, um, we're going to be on the hush fight. And the hush fight is always going to take as long as the hush fight takes. There's ways to augment it. You know, sometimes it's going to take longer than others, but uh, that's the only thing that we can't really give ourselves a great chance of rushing, you know? So that's going to take another two minutes no matter what. But this is going to be another fast run, and I got to say, the it's been a ridiculously efficient day for recording, basically by accident, you know? Like, I would, I don't mind. Whenever I, I said a couple episodes ago, whenever I do an Isaac episode, internally, I'm like, this is probably going to take, I give myself like 45 minutes on average. I don't want to play it too much. That's, let's not get greedy. Um, this one is not going to be 45 minutes. In fact, none of these runs, I think, have even been over 30 minutes today. And I'd be very surprised if this one bucked that trend. Okay, we did get a deal with the devil, and uh, it is is good. We really only need the pact, because we can already fly, and we don't need spectral tears. And then this is where holding onto that Algiz rune for like 18 minutes is going to be a positive for us here. Let's check our shop. We got 93 cents. Finally, we get the chance to do something. I think we do take Pandora's box, honestly. And we take Pandora's box uh, up to the cathedral and try to get another item out of it. Sadly, I think you go for the Ankh, just to have it passive so we can take Pandora's box with us, and definitely Sad Bombs. Sad Bombs are a lot of fun. Some good choices, though. They, you know, in, in different circumstances, any of those items could have been useful. Uh, Magic Fingers, even if we chose not to go with Pandora's box, could have been great. Could have even just been great to do the rest of the Hush fight if we wanted, but it's all good. So I think we'll just start with this, and then let the flies do a lot of dirty work. Algiz, of course, leaves us open to still shoot, so we should still be able to just, you know, basically kick the shit out of uh, Hush here once we pop it. I think we should avoid popping the uh, Algiz rune until he gets to the point where he's doing the uh, Continuum tiers. Because these shots are easy enough to get past, especially considering we just bought the Nightlight for ourselves. Bit of bad damage, but we get invincibility out of that anyway. I also want to try throwing in some Sad Bombs. Oh my god. They have like a bit of a reputation for not being that amazing with Mom's Knife, I think, but... I think that it's uh, a bit overstated considering the extra damage that you can get out of them. And the size of the hitbox on Hush, at least. Okay. Not Continuum Tears yet, we're almost halfway through the fight. That's okay. Now, the, I mean, remember what I said earlier, we can't do anything wrong on this run? What would really cement that for me? 
is if we uh, pop Pandora's box and we get Holy Mantle or Godhead or Sacred Heart. Any of those three items and I'd be like, this is ridiculous. Like the game is, has given us a gift that I, I can basically not even comprehend. Am I going to use all of our bombs here? What's it to you? I, I'll consider it, at least. Doubtlessly, this is going to be the hardest room for the rest of the, the boss, or the rest of the game. So I'm not very concerned about it one way or the other. Come on, just let me finish him off with Algiz. Like, we're done. At this point, you're really just artificially extending the, the time of the video by having him stay underground here. Sure, you hit me. Was he going to stay underground forever? I find this hard to believe. Okay. Quick hush fight. We'll come out here. Grab Pandora's box. And then donate as much money as we can. Now this could be the true uh, enduring gem of this run. If this donation machine gets to like 690, 700 cents, that would be exquisite. Okay. It was probably in like the 660s somewhere. Could be better, could be worse. Head up to the cathedral. And I'm hoping, wishing, and praying for a good item. 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, it's kind of bad, actually. Shouldn't have even taken it, but I don't know what's good for me sometimes. I take it because, I mean, even though we already have functionally exactly what it's offering, I was like, we don't get Holy Grail that often. I just want to, I just want to see it. I want to refresh my memory on whether it gives you an HP upgrade, and of course it did. And then once we took that, it was like, well, it makes sense now to take uh, the Eternal Heart as well. I'm not going to take Bob's Rotten Head. And to be honest with you, I feel like we do so much more damage with our tears, especially with flies associated, that uh, Bob's Rotten Head provides us with effectively nothing of value. So, well, it does get us closer to the Bob transformation, I suppose, which is ex exceptionally valuable if you've never gotten it before. And like translations that are bad. And by translations, I mean transformations. Hey, Tomo. What's up, buddy? We gave our cats... Oh, well, we didn't give our cats a lion cut today. But we uh, took our cats to get groomed. Because their fur is getting freaking everywhere. And I know there's some armchair veterinarians. And you mean the best. We talked about getting our cats groomed. We got a lot of messages from concerned people that were like, Hey, you shouldn't get your cats groomed. Uh, cats... Use their fur and the, the smells associated with it to dictate their personalities and behavior, etc, etc. We've already had them groom before in the past. They handle it well. They like it. At least they seem to like it. I don't claim to be able to get inside of the mind of a cat. But anyway, I just add that in because I know with anything involving an uh, animals on the internet, people get a little uh, protective and tend to think that, you know, things are abusive when they're not. Right, Tomo, buddy? And he's got a big old puffy head. If you're not familiar with what a lion cut is, it's basically like they shave everything but the head, the tips of the paws, and the tips of the tail. And they do it that way, um, I guess to preserve a little bit of cuteness, but also maybe to stop shedding. That's that's the reason we did it anyway. Um, not a great series of items in this chest, but the D20 could lead to some good stuff, potentially. Tomo, I gotta say, looks freaking ridiculous. You might think uh, our cats are fairly large. I mean, they are ragdolls. That's a... Uh, it's the second largest breed of cat in the world, just on genetics. But once they get shaved, they actually look like they could fit into a freaking, you know, a quarter-inch diameter pipe or something like that. Not not to bust out the plumbing inside terminology, you know, that me and the boys use down at the local union after the work gets out. Now you want to leave? You can leave if you want. You know, it was nice to have you. Thanks for being here. Okay. Crack open this, the rosary. That's terrible. I don't want to get it because it's just going to lead to us getting the Bible anyway. But then, you know, we might as well get it because if we're going to get the Bible anyway, we might as well get the Bible now, you know? Well, this run, I got to be honest, it's been fun, but it's also quite uninteresting. And I just hit myself there, but that just, just to get the gimpy play, of course. Um, I don't mean to say that it was boring, but it was just like in terms of like the play-by-play, -play, we started with Mom's Knife, so... There wasn't a whole lot of tension. It's like watching uh, a film that's based on real life events you're familiar with. You're like, okay, well, I wonder what's going to happen to the Titanic, right? As soon as you see that the ship's called the Titanic, you know what's, what's happening. But for, uh, 
for most Isaac runs, there's a little bit of uncertainty. This one, what it lacked in uncertainty, hopefully it made up for in a little bit of absurdity. Just the sheer amount of damage that we were doing, but... I can accept if you're watching this, if you're like, this was a skippable episode. If this was Breaking Bad, this episode would be Fly. And I don't mean to insult Fly, I know a lot of people really like that episode, consider it a hallmark. Not one of my personal favorites, of course, like everybody else, I'm an Ozymandias fan. By the way, if you have not seen Breaking Bad, you might have asked yourself this question. Is it that good? Yes. Yes, it is that good. You should you should see it. It's a seminal, generation-defining piece of fiction. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.